ladies and welcome back to Gray Your Way. I am Faith and this is the channel that reviews gray hair and gray wigs only. And today I have another unit for you. It's from the Perfect Hairline from Outre and it is a 13 by 6 22 inch unit called Aria. And this is what she looks like. And you don't have to guess what color I have. It's DRST Silver Noir. So let me show you the, the wig. Here it is. It's again it's 22 inches and it's got that silver in the front on both sides and not in the back. She's a little bit curlier than the last unit that I reviewed for you guys, um, but I think the color pattern is similar, except that the last wig was a Sensational unit and it had more color in the front on one side as opposed to on both sides like this one does. So I'm just gonna plop this on my head real quick as soon as I put my um, cap on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, since my hair has grown, it's getting harder and harder to do these. So either I cut my hair off again or I figure something else out because I always got a lump in the back of my head. So um, what? Oh, let me do this. i tell you what. I'm going to pull my headband off and I'm just going to see if I can throw this hair into this without the headband. I mean, without the um, that ponytail holder. Because then maybe if I just stick my hair underneath here like this. Oh, there goes my ear. That way it's not as lumpy in the back, I guess. It won't be as lumpy in the back. So that I can have a bit more of a flatter back. Yeah, it's a little bit better. All right, so this one has your typical cap construction. It has two combs in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. And like I said, it is a 13 by 6 and it also has an elastic band. So I'm going to put it on here, see if I can make sure I get this lace to come out as opposed to in when I put this on my head, okay. All right, so this is what Aria looks like right now. And if you guys are familiar with the Perfect Hairline, you know that it's usually plucked. And yeah, it's usually plucked. So it is plucked a little bit, not as much as I would pluck it, but it's plucked a little bit. And of course this lace is great, works for me. So here she is. Let me show you what she looks like in the back. And it came parted like this, so I don't know. That's what she looks like in the back. Again, she's 22 inches. And she is, I say she's medium head friendly because you guys know I have a 22 inch head and even with my little pouch down here she's fitting just about right so she might be a little bit looser if I didn't have the hair in the back she might be a little bit looser just so you guys know if you have a larger than a 22 inch head I don't know this might be a bit snug for you so um, I am going to take the lace off and style her and I shall be right back Okay, you guys, I am back. What I did was I just cut the lace off, you know, and I put some um, of this on it. This is the Esha Melt and Slay spray that I have been using in place of the Eben. Uh, don't get twisted. I still love the Eben, but I've been using this because I had two cans and I want to get it done before I go and get anything else. But this works pretty well, and I have been lazy as I don't know what because I have not felt like blow drying my spray before I put my thing on so I just put the spray on and wrapped it up real tight and <laughs> hope it works. Usually it does work like that but it is way better to spray this on, move it around with your finger, blow dry it and then put the wig on and your strap on but you know I'm being lazy today so we'll see if it works. This unit I think was already reviewed by a few people. Um, it comes in a lot of other colors. Uh, uh, okay do I have to grab my glasses? Y'all know I'm blind. Okay, so let's see if I can get my glasses on and even read this. Okay, so the colors are DR Brown Sugar Swirl, DRST Silver Noir, which is the one I have, DRST4 Vanilla Cocoa Melt, DRF4 Golden Honey, DR, DRMC2, which I don't think I've ever heard that before, Ginger Toffee, DRMC4 S'mores Dip, and MC Dipped Cherry. Now, I have no idea what the MC is, but I'm sure going to find out and let y'all know. 
because I am behind the eight ball when it comes to these wig reviews and it doesn't say anything in here about what that means. So I'm going to find out and I'll let y'all know. Okay, let's do the big reveal. I'm going to see if I can, um, if this thing actually worked for me. I put two straps on here just in case because I didn't know whether it was actually going to work or not. So that was what I did. So, okay, so here I am all flattened out. All right, so let me take a look at this. I've got my mirror sitting here. So let me take a look at this. Well, it looks like it's laid down, that's for sure. So all I think I really need to do is just pull some of this hair off of here. So, yeah. You guys know I like a unit that I can just... Oh, and there's going to be hair coming out of here, just so you know, because I had to cut over my ear, or under my ear, rather, because the uh, lace was just going to far past my ear. As you guys know, I'm sure you've seen Wheezy and other people do that. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this looks like it did okay. Yeah, this did okay. It did okay. So, yeah, it, if I really look close up in a mirror, I'm probably going to have to wipe off some of this crud. But for this purpose, I'm not going to worry about that because you guys know what the drill is. You know how to do it. Okay, you know how to do it. You've watched all my videos. And if you haven't watched all my videos, go and watch them because guess who's monetized now? <laughs> yeah, we're monetized now. We hit those 4,000 hours. And if you're not familiar, if you're on YouTube, you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers and we've got 2,000. And you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time. And so I got my 4,000 hours last week of watch time. And so we are good in that area. And so now I can get commercials on my ads I mean all my videos and that's what I wanted to do so okay so here she is she's all glued down um, my first thought of this unit is that she's kind of gorgeous she's kind of gorgeous yeah <laughs> she's kind of gorgeous so I'm gonna spray some of my bulbous Remy in here so I can uh, see what I can do I don't want to to comb these curls out because I think these curls are really pretty and again, if you have not seen me do a full um, glue down, I have several videos on my channel, this one and Still Looking Good 58, where I have done a complete glue down step by step so that you can see how I do it. It's not hard to do. So I'm just going to brush this a little bit. I don't want to brush these curls out. Oh, and you know what? It looks like it's trying to brush them out when you brush it. Oh, no, I don't want that. I want to keep them. I'm wondering if I should just finger through them because I don't want to lose those, um, these curls. And look at that. You can lose them. Oh, all this hair's coming out because I pulled that hair out. Like I said, I had to cut it on both sides so that it would fit my hairline. Because if I didn't cut the lace on both, you know, over, let me start over. My lace was going over my ear. So since the lace was going over my ear, I cut it across the top of my ear so that when I lay this unit down, it's laying down right here above my ear. Okay. I hope that makes sense. This unit is beautiful. And I really, like I said, I didn't want to finger comb it out. And this is going to be tangly. Just so you know, this is going to be tangly. So um, let me go and get something to comb this out and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I um, wanted to spray something else into this hair just to see if I can figure this out. But it's, uh, it's a bit tangly, which I'm not a fan of. But you know, as everyone always says, these long units are going to be tangly. Um, the good thing about synthetic units, though, as opposed to human, is that when the curls do fall out, they uh, usually come back when you um, shampoo it. And of course you can put hot rollers in them as well. So I don't know. I'm not normally a right side person, but you people who like right sides, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. But the hairline looks good. I mean, the hairline didn't like get crappy or anything on me like I thought it was going to. Let me switch this mirror around so I can see a little closer. Yeah, the hairline actually didn't do badly. It's, I can probably stand to put some um, um, water on this 
to get some of this uh, crud off of here. And there's a little bit like right there. But for the most part, I think this looks pretty good. I think something's lifting like right there, but um, let me get something to wash to get this out of my hair. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes you get the the little dry spots from that hairspray in your hair. But this um this actually turned out good. This actually turned out good. It's pretty. It is, it's pretty. But again, it's 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 tangly because it's so long. I'm just trying to get the uh, yeah it's it's pretty but it's tangly and see because I brushed it a little bit the curls have come out but again you can um, put them back in with some hot rollers um, I've done that too I think I've shown you a video or two where I've done that as well with the hot rollers but I like the way this gray is because I've always been a fan of this DRST Silver Noir. The only drawback that I have with Outre and the gray is that I honestly don't feel like they give you enough. Um, they started out really well when they were doing um, the uh, niches because with the niches they were giving you sever several different kinds of grays but now they just don't seem to be doing that. And they're kind of going back to their old ways because I've noticed in a lot of the new wigs that are coming out, there's no gray option. I got this one because it had a gray option, but then it's the same color gray where they've got like four or five different browns, you know, a couple different reds, a bunch of different blondes um, in their regular style. So I don't understand why they can't do that with gray, not just with Nisha, but with all their other units. So, yeah. So what do you guys think about Aria? What you think? Here she is again. This is how long she is. Yep. I think she's beautiful. Um, I think I might keep this on and get my husband to take me to dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, and here she is again, brushed out and long. Yep. Yep. 22 inches might be a bit much for some people. But uh, it just depends to me. If I'm going somewhere fancy with my husband, I don't mind wearing hair like this, and especially this gray, because this gray color seems to be working really well. So, yeah. So if you guys are interested in Aria, <laughs> this is she. And uh, again, she's 22 inches. She's a 13 by six, which means you can part her in the middle or on both sides or either side rather. And my color again is DRST Silver Noir. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, stay tuned because I am going to try and do better in terms of bringing you more reviews. But thank you again for all your support. Thank you for getting me to 4,000 watch hours so that I can be monetized now. Maybe I'll get some people to send me some more units. And another thing I wanted to let you guys know is I am still selling my units online. I am not at um, slg58headbands.com. I killed that site. It was costing me too much and now that I'm retired, I can't afford it. So I went back to Big Cartel because it's free <laughs> and I can only put up five wigs at a time. So I haven't put up five yet. Well, recently because I sold two. So I've got three up there, but I need to put two more up there. So I can only do five at a time because it's free. And my headbands are up there too. So uh, yeah, go to that site. I'm gonna put it here so that you can see it. Thank you guys so much again and have a great weekend. Bye.